Welcome to Stealing Renoir, a mystery thriller where art, crime, and history converge. A woman can have it all, and it's faster to steal it. Elizabeth Monaghan is an internationally respected art appraiser, television personality, and a thief at heart. Masterpiece art stolen during World War II is her specialty. Coming this fall, the second installment in the series, Stealing Picasso. This Renoir is entitled Madeline Leaning on Her Elbow with Flowers in Her Hair stolen in 2011. Still missing and part of the inspiration for stealing Renoir. Here is a related excerpt from the novel. Elizabeth Monaghan sat in her custom-made viewing chair and stared at Renoir's Madeline leaning on her elbow with flowers in her hair, stolen from the Houston couple who had hired her to do the appraisal. Elizabeth loved the risk of owning a stolen masterpiece, craved the connection to a timeless work of art touched by the masters. The dopamine rush from owning an original canvas was simply a bonus, a reminder of her personal link to immortality. Her gaze traveled to the ultimate Renoir, an impressionist canvas so few people had seen that it was almost unknown. Portrait of Senorita Santangel. Now it was hers, and no investigator like Ben Abrams was going to take it away from her. Here's another clue from Stealing Renoir. Modern technology endangers Elizabeth Monaghan and just might get her caught. Notice the discoloration. That's the original picture and a big clue for helping you solve the mystery in stealing Renoir. Here's a Renoir entitled Jeanne Samouray in a low-necked dress. She was one of Renoir's favorite models. Ever wonder what the people in these paintings looked like in person? I have, and this is part of the inspiration that led me to write Stealing Renoir. Next, an excerpt from the novel. And there it was. Portrait of Senorita Santangel, perhaps the most valuable Renoir ever painted. Elizabeth Monaghan grabbed the nearest chair and sprinted across the room, leaping over an ill-placed ottoman with gymnastic grace. She stepped onto the chair and pressed her cheek against the wall. She tilted the top of the frame forward and used her flashlight to illuminate the upper edges. There, in the upper left-hand corner and burned into the back of the wooden frame, an indelible mark that had proven impossible to obscure. The intertwined Yiddish characters, Bess and High, which formed the Saint Angel coat of arms. Thank God for Baruch Hashem, she muttered. Elizabeth wasn't Jewish or particularly religious, she was well on her way to becoming the world's first billionaire art thief. Her elaborate con was in play, and some of the Marks still thought they were partners. She'd planned for everything. Everything, that is, except aging parents and the return of her nemesis, Ben Abrams. That's me, Stephen Alton Brown. That's a link to my website where you can read the entire first chapter for free. All of my books are rated G.
This is another of my books, Mystery Island. Sheriff Andrew Tate spends his waking hours keeping the peace on an island too small for a traffic light and too big for a one-person police force. Let the Earth Breathe, a gardening coffee table book about how Ann Milligan, my wife, and I converted our backyard into a botanical park. Here's how you can do it too. Shadows of Chaco Canyon, a mystery about a mysterious people, the Anasazi. In the next video, I'll be discussing A Promise Moon, a love story inspired by a research grant to explore the untold story of the Underground Railroad. Most escaped slaves didn't get any help until they were already free. There's more on my website. You can sign up for my monthly newsletter and not miss a thing.